Today's lesson is about surface area and volume of a cylinder. Lesson we will learn what is cylinder, how to derive the formula to calculate volume and surface area of cylinder, and by applying the appropriate formula, how can we calculate volume and surface area of cylinder? Well, a cylinder is a geometrical shape with two circular bases and one curved surface. Look at the cross section of cylinder. Can you identify how many parts are there? Well, there are three parts. Two circles and one rectangular part and together they make a cylinder. Now, take an example for our daily life. A can, a soup can. Look at this can. Can you identify how many circles are there? Yes, there are two circles. One at the top and other at the bottom. And the central part, there where you can see the label, it's a rectangle one. The circumference of the lid is the same as the length of the label. A circle, a curved surface and another circle. This is a cylinder, a right circular cylinder to be precise. Every cylinder has a central axis which passes through the centers of the two circles. The areas of the two circles are equal. That's because the cylinder we consider has a uniform cross-section. This tells us that the radii of the two circles will be equal. In a right circular cylinder, the distance between the two centers of the circles is its height. Let's call it H. So how do we find the total surface area of the cylinder? It will be the sum of areas of the two circles and the area of the curved surface. As the radius is r, the area of each circle will be pi r squared. So the sum of the areas of both the circles will be pi r squared plus pi r squared. But what is the area of the curved surface? This is interesting. The curved surface when opened up will look like a rectangle. And what will be the length and the breadth of this rectangle? The breadth is easy. It will be the height of the cylinder. But what about the length? Yes, the length of the rectangle will be the circumference of the circle. It will be 2 pi r. It was easy. All we did was open this curved surface up. Anyway, these two together add up to 2 pi r squared. And the area of this rectangle will be 2 pi r h. That's it. This is the total surface area of a cylinder with radius of the base r and height h. As 2 pi r is common to both the terms, we can write it as 2 pi r times r plus h. That's the total surface area. What is this blue part then? It's called the curved surface area of the cylinder. 2 pi r h. And finally, we come to the volume of a cylinder. It equals the area of its base times its height. As the base is circular, its area will be pi r squared and its height is h. That's the volume of a cylinder. Pi r squared h. You don't have to memorize any of this. You can easily derive the total surface area and for the volume, you just need to know that it is the area of its base or its cross section times its height. Time to practice the questions. First revise the formula with me. Surface area is equal to 2 pi r square plus 2 pi r times height or we can write 2 pi r h plus r. You can see a cylinder. Two dimensions are given. 22 centimeter and 14 centimeter. Can someone tell me what does 22 centimeter represent? Yes, it's a diameter and 14 centimeter is the height of cylinder. 
Now look at the formula. In the formula you can see that radius is there. Now where is the radius of this cylinder? Excellent. Radius is half of diameter. So in this case it will be 11 centimeter. Now students by substituting the values in the given formula you can easily calculate surface area of cylinder. Now look at this example. Can you see that in this example the dimensions are same? Then what is the difference? Yes, in this case they have used D. Instead of writing 2 pi R, they use pi D. Can someone tell me why? Good, because D is equal to 2 times radius. So in this example they have used the formula pi D times height plus 2 pi r squared and by substituting the values you will get your answer. Students don't forget to write the unit. In this case our unit of length is centimeter so the answer the surface area will be centimeter square. Good. Now it's the time to practice volume of a cylinder. Just revise the formula with me. The volume V of a cylinder is the area of its base. Just recall what is the base of cylinder? Yes, it's a circle. And what is the area of circle? Pi r square. So the volume will be base times height. Pi r square times h. Well students, now try it. In this cylinder, you can see two dimensions are given. The radius is 5 meter and the height is 4.2 meter. Now we will apply the formula. Volume is equal to pi r square times height. We will substitute the values and yes, you will get your answer. Did you notice in this case, the unit is different from surface area. You will write your answer in meter cube because the unit of length is meter. Now practice this sum. Check your answer. Don't forget to write the unit centimeter cube. It's time to revise the formulas. Surface area of cylinder 2 pi r square plus 2 pi r times height 2 pi r h plus r or we can write pi d h plus r. Volume of cylinder pi r square times height. Now dear students you will practice more sum from exercise 11 c d1. Thank you. In case of any query, you can ask your teachers in your Google Classroom. Meet you in the next session. Goodbye.